So if you're throwing on a polo, it must be some nice occasion, right? You must be getting dressed up. Maybe you're going to play golf. Maybe it's a Sunday afternoon and you're going somewhere fancy, so you've got to throw on a polo, right? No, no. Forget all that. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can wear polos casually and how they can elevate your outfit. So I've got five different polos here and I'm going to talk about how each one of them is taking my outfit just to that next level a little bit better than just a standard t-shirt or something that you always throw on. This is another option that can add variety to your closet. So let's dive into it right now. Okay, first up, this is the PK stretch polo from J. Crew. Out of everything on this list, this is probably the most basic. One thing I don't wear much of is a basic, simple polo. I've been trying to eliminate those from my closet because they're too plain. They really don't add as much as I want to. Something like this is a great option over those. This style shirt is probably the most versatile on this list. You can wear this with pants, you can tuck it in, you can wear it untucked. It's actually an untucked version. Go ahead and look for something that just has a little bit of detail around the collar. My size in polos is large and all of these are size large. I'm 6'2", 190, so use that for reference. I'll talk a little bit more about sizing in this video as well. Okay, next up is something from Lacoste. Honestly, if I was gonna wear just a plain, simple polo, it would probably only be from Lacoste or Ralph Lauren. Those are just two logos that say enough on the shirt. Other than that, I really don't like to wear just plain polos. I have some, but I prefer these that I'm showing you right now. So there's a couple things about this shirt that make it stand out and better than the basic polo. For one, this light blue color, Lacoste does it really well. This like sky blue is just something they've been doing for a while and they just have the hue down pat. The added stripes make the shirt look a little bit more stylish in my opinion. I tend to go with the more standard fit in my polos, but you do not want them relaxed or baggy. They have to hug your arm in the correct way and be somewhat slim fitting. I'll talk about that even more in this video. I gotta keep it moving. Okay, next up, my favorite shirt on this list. This is a stretch PK polo from J. Crew. There's something about this polo that has that throwback vibe to it. I don't know if it's the off-white color, or the way that the stripes are done. This is such a classy shirt that you can style in a laid back, relaxed way. So this one is so comfortable, I don't wear an undershirt. And that's all your personal preference. In my opinion, I don't like when the undershirt is sticking out way above the collar or it just looks like you're stuffing two shirts on. You know, you should feel relaxed. It should feel comfortable. Some of you probably have undershirts that have a wider neck. Those are better to wear with polos. A Hanes beefy tee is not a good undershirt for a polo. That collar is way too thick and it just stands out too much. It's just not a good combination in my opinion. You wanna find a t-shirt that's lightweight and has a wider collar. Cut your collar out if you need to or just opt for no undershirt which is how I've been wearing this one. The PK design on here, again, makes it so much more comfortable. PK tends to be a mid-weight fabric, which is something that's woven, by the way. It tends to make the material more breathable and show less sweat, which is perfect if you're wearing a shirt underneath it. I absolutely love this shirt, and I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it this summer. Okay, and last up for the stripes, this is the one that is the most involved. It's from Carhartt Work in Progress. So don't just look at Lacoste, J. Crew, Ralph Lauren. Your favorite streetwear brand probably makes a polo and it's totally fine to go ahead and pick those up. Certainly, you know, I let the brand kind of drive the ship as far as how my outfit's gonna look when I'm wearing it. So I'm not gonna dress up a Carhartt work in progress polo. I'm gonna dress it down. I'm gonna wear it just like I would wear one of their t-shirts. I'll wear this with mesh shorts, no problem. High cut white socks and some sneakers or even slides, it doesn't matter. Like you can really dress shirts like this down. This is their Oakland short sleeve polo, by the way. It's also done in this Gucci colorway. You really cannot ignore the fact that it looks like a Gucci polo. I'm sure it's inspired by that, I don't mind. And as far as the stripe placement, there's a lot of them. Maybe this isn't your style, so you go with something like this where it's a little bit more separated out, but a lot of polos you're gonna find have stripes just like this. Add some variety 
in the stripes. Not all stripe polos are the same. Clearly, I pretty much just showed you four different ones. So take that into consideration when you're shopping for polos and definitely don't write off your favorite streetwear brands for these type of shirts. Okay, and then last up, I got something from Ralph Lauren. This is an all over nautical print polo. Now, this is wild, but it's fun. You know, it's good to add something like this to your closet. Certainly, it's not gonna be a staple. It's not gonna be an essential. The pattern obviously matters a lot. This one just kinda stood out to me as a throwback polo shirt. It's a little bit different than everything else they're putting out right now. You got anchors, you got lighthouses, you got boats. You got everything on this shirt that just screams the beach. Something like this I would wear with some casual khaki shorts. Like, this is gonna be the standout piece of the outfit. You don't need some crazy shorts or sneakers as well. I would really tone everything down when I'm wearing this shirt. Let it be the statement. This is a regular fit. Now let me talk about sizing real quick. Polo makes custom fit shirts and they are so tight. They're really tight around my arms. And you know, I think about sizing up like one or two sizes to kind of offset that. If the sizing of the shirt doesn't fit you, just let it go. You know, it's just not for you. And there's plenty out there that don't fit me, so don't feel bad if you don't fit into a shirt or something's too big or too small for you, just go to a different brand. There is one that's gonna fit you out there. And when you do find it, just buy it in multiple colors and styles. For some reason, they don't make a ton of classic fit shirts, but they really should. I bought this one in store, absolutely love it. So let me know down in the comment section what style polo shirts you like to wear. I'm telling you, Broaden your horizons a little bit. Step outside a t-shirt or a tank top. You can certainly elevate your style with a polo, so don't overlook them. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new, and then follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As always, thank you guys for tuning into this one. I have a lot more content on the way. Go check out some of my older videos if you missed them. I'll catch you next time.